All right, Shalom. I want to first off give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Chachodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. And peace and blessing, Shalom, to the Most High, hopefully, elect. This is Brother Yagadah Lamar from GMS Houston. And I uh, got a real quick lesson I wanted to go into uh, dealing with the fact that, uh, 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 first off, who the saints are according to the scriptures and what are the saints going to do uh, uh, in the future, man. Okay, which is judge the earth and, and, uh, after it's taken by force, man. There'll be no democratic process. There'll be uh, uh, the same process as always been uh, 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 through, uh, throughout history. Is there's gonna be a war? Okay, and it's not gonna be like any other war, man. Why? Because Yahweh Shai is coming back to make war with this uh, with uh, the rulers of the earth, man. Okay, to establish righteousness in the earth. Okay, and lift up his people uh, to fulfill the promise of his father, man. Okay, so Lord willing, there'll be some edification in this video, and uh, I'm just going to keep this short and sweet to the point, man. Uh, I want to start off with uh, the book of Psalm, chapter 50 and verse 5. It says, Gather my saints together unto me, the, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice, man. And who could only uh, that apply to, man? All right, to let you know who the saints are. Uh, Right out the back, it's talking about Israel, man. Okay, no other nation made a covenant with the Lord by sacrifice, man. So that rules out any of these other nations that could be uh, that could be classified as a saint, man. Okay. Jump over to uh, this is First Corinthians chapter six, and I'll start at verse one. It says, "Dare any of you have a matter against another? Go to the law before the just." And not before the saints. Do you do ye not know that the saints shall judge the uh, the world? And if the world shall ju be judged by you, are ye unworthy to judge the smallest matter? So we uh, we're gonna come to a point in time to where the saints, which we uh, which are the Israelites, okay, that can only be Israelites, man. All right, are gonna be judging the earth, man. That's why uh, the Lord is setting up uh, us to be priests, man. All right. To do what? To be able to enforce the law against the other, uh, the other, uh, the other nations, man. Okay, we're not gonna be uh, uh, he's the uh, the priesthood is opened up. All right, now after you have a shot, man. Okay, but it's like I said, it's not gonna be a, a democratic a democratic process. It's not gonna be no voting when uh, the Most High establishes uh, uh, his righteous rule in the earth, man. Okay. Because uh, uh, um, the only way to take this devil down is through a higher power intervening, man. Okay? Elsewise, we'd be stuck under the foot of this devil forever, man. Okay? And it says, so this is uh, real quick. This is Daniel 7 and 18. Just to show you how this is going to uh, come to pass, man. Okay? It says, but the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever, man. Okay? So is that... You know, that it clearly is not the case as of right now, man. Okay? That's clearly not the case as of right now because the saints are not uh, uh, ruling and judging the earth, man. Elsewise, things will be in complete, uh, uh, in order and uh, according to the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father, man. Okay? And the only way that the saints are going to take the kingdom is when Yahweh Shah returns, man. Okay? And I'll get that real quick before I wrap this up. Flip right to it, man. The water Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. All right, because we can't do it on our own, man. That's why we're not worried about gathering up arms and all this other shit. We know that we have to wait on the Lord to return to do uh, what needs to be done, man. Okay, which is take this devil down, and that's going to uh, uh, take the Lord coming back in his glory to establish the power, okay, and exalt his father's name in the earth, man. Okay, so uh, this is Revelation chapter 19 and verse 11. It says, And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true, and in righteousness he doth judge and make war. Okay. Yes. But uh, that's how the saints are gonna take the kingdom, man. All right, Yahweh Shai is gonna return, and he's gonna uh, with his heavenly hosts. Okay, with the men who have uh, uh, who have who have uh, laid down their life in the faith, man. Okay, and then he's going to be lifting certain brothers up with spiritual powers to assist taking his place down, man. And establish, uh, as the scripture just said, in righteousness, he doth judge and make war, man. 
Okay, so that's it for this lesson. Like I said, I want to keep it short and sweet, man. Lord willing, it was still edification in this video. Once again, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rukhakorash. And give double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone. And peace and blessings, shalom to the hopefully elect. We almost out of here.